rhymes so loud and proud you hear it. It's Christmas time, and we got the spirit. Please don't sue me, Run DMC. Whoa! Christmas magic! I just appeared here! What is this? Christmas tree? In sailing vessel freestyle? And it looks like Santa left his sack! Well guys, it's definitely Christmas here. Um, Christmas season is upon us. It is December. Um, and it looks like we got some Christmassy stuff going on here. Um, but first, we're gonna get into this episode, and it's all about winterizing the boat. Um, we're gonna go through the uh, the motions of getting the boat ready. We're gonna winterize the motor, get everything to storage, and then stay tuned after that because we're gonna come back here, and we're gonna see what Santa left us under the Christmas tree. All right, enjoy the show.
All right, I'm gonna take a break in this rain um, and, and winterize this motor before the uh, temperatures drop again and my bucket of water becomes uh, too frozen to do anything. Um, so we're gonna fog it with some fogging oil. Fogging oil. Eee. We're gonna do that, um, run it for a little bit, fog it, and then we're gonna stop the engine and then we're gonna take out the spark plugs and we're gonna spray a little bit of that fogging oil in the um, cylinders. So the cylinders and all the internal components of this motor stay nice and lubricated and um, no water will get on the metal parts and rust up over the winter. And then we'll put it into some storage. That's why they call it fogging oil. All right, so we let that run for, you know, 10, 20 seconds after I gave it a good dose of the old fogging oil. <clears throat> Next up, what we're gonna do is just take out the spark plugs, spray a little bit of this in there, and um, I even like to like turn the flywheel a couple times to get the pistons to move back and forth a little bit. Um, and then we put the spark plugs, plugs back in and put it away for the winter. tip is to take your cowling off uh, before you store your motor um, from past experiences uh, not so much in this uh, shed but in the garage uh, there's been a couple years where in other outboards uh, mice like to uh, curl up and make nests in here because it's a nice little warm insulated secure area but if you take the cowling off it's no longer you know a warm, secure, insulated area, so it won't go anywhere near it. But yeah, little tip right there to keep mice out of your uh... <sighs> keep mice out of your motor. I wasn't yawning. I'm awake. Uh, another thing I like to do is make sure I use a shop vac and suck up any rainwater that's collected anywhere in the boat, um, because you don't want any kind of water freezing um, and thawing and freezing and thawing, freezing and thawing. Because what that does is expands and contracts, expands and contracts, expands and contracts, and potentially crack it and darn, I keep on swearing. I will beep all those out. Uh, yeah, basically when that the water expands and 
<clears throat> when it freezes, it can crack some of your things. Um, so I'm going to take this opportunity while everything's thawed and vacuum out. There's some water that I collected in the lazarette, and I don't want that freezing and ruining the integrity of that through hole that we fixed earlier this year. Um, so yeah, that's just another tip. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, she's officially all packaged up and um, ready for winter. Got the tarp up. Um, still allowed myself some access so I can get in here um, over the winter and maybe work on a few things. We'll get a little space heater in here, warm it up a little bit, and um, can also work on some other things in the uh, shed over there. Um, so yeah, we're all ready to go um, for the winter, and hopefully it's an easy one and. It's not too much snow and crap, and it's not too long and too cold, and everything will thaw out, and we'll be able to get back out in the water um, relatively quickly. But in the meantime, let's enjoy it. I got my ugly Christmas sweater on right now. Nothing says Christmas like kittens and pizza. Um, and yeah, Santa left his uh, sack under the tree. What do we got here? Oh, look at that. It's a brand spanking new jib sale from bluewateryachts.com. Look at how white and crispy clean that is. It's like all crunchy still. So, man, Santa was good to me this year. Uh, so that's really going to help out a lot next year. We don't have to worry about the um, jib sale that I tried to repair earlier this season. Brand spanking new, Hank on. Um, should work out really good for. Oh, wait a second here. Something else in Santa's sack. Earlier. Ah, oh, look at that. It's a Christmas gift. And you know what? I think this gris Christmas gift could be for you. So, as a way of saying thank you guys to all of you and everybody who supported me and everybody who's, um, become a patron and, and donated so far this season, which has helped me out greatly. I've been able to, you know, purchase a lot of the stuff here that you've seen me been working on. Um, so I really appreciate everything you guys are doing for me. So I got you a little something. Of course, I couldn't give everybody a little something. Um, so what I'm going to do is on Christmas Day, I'm going to pick one person at random. Um, I'll find a random way to do that. I think there's apps. Anyways, we'll figure out a way. I'll put it all in a hat. If I got to write them all out, put them all in a hat. Or I can enter them all into an app and, and have the computer pick somebody at random. We'll figure that part out. But, long story short, okay? One person is going to get this Christmas gift, all right? And the gift is... Let's open it up here. Ooh, this is always the exciting part. What do we got here? Ah! This is an ambient weather station. Complete with a thermometer, a barometer, and high, 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 high hydrometer. Man, that was, uh, that was way harder to say than it should have been. So yeah, three, three gauges here, all for your ambient weather needs uh would be perfect on a boat or in your house um but anyways yeah you can do whatever the heck you want with it um and again all you gotta do is is this is going to one of my my donators any of my my patrons out there who have been donating along um or anybody who's donating um through paypal as little as a dollar um yeah anybody and you still got time too this is going to happen on Christmas Day. So if you want to, um, if you want a chance to have your name pulled to see if you can be the lucky uh, receiver of this Christmas gift, um, plenty of time to do that. Um, links in the description below to Patreon, or Patreon, and um, links to, in the description below to PayPal if you just want to do like a one-time donation, as little as one dollar. That's all it takes. One buck, one dollar. Get your name into the drawing. For the ambient weather station Christmas gift um, just as my way of saying thanks and you know what 
if you guys really dig this kind of stuff, we could start doing this uh, more often. I mean, I just had the idea because it was Christmas and, you know, I like giving gifts on Christmas and I wanted to give a gift to you guys. So, yeah, that's where, that's the way I thought of it. And, um, but if you think this is cool, the uh, giveaways and that kind of stuff, maybe we can do this again um, in the future. But for now, it is the holiday season. So we're gonna call it a Christmas gift. It's all wrapped up with the season's greetings wrapping paper. Um, and yeah, could be yours. So to all you patrons and all you donators, thank you very, very much for everything you've done for me this season. I really appreciate it. And again, to all you people who are just discovering the channel now, um, not too late. If you wanna throw a dollar in my hat, and um, say good job. I would really appreciate that. Um, and you can do that, again, by PayPal, uh, one-time donation, or you can join Patreon and check out all the, um, the little uh, goodies you get by becoming a patron. Um, also, everybody gets their name in the credits for um, any kind of donation. If you do it, whether you do it through PayPal or if you do it through Patreon, your name's gonna get in the credits either way. Um, so you don't necessarily have to be a patron. If you want to see your name pop up in the credits that are going to happen um, right about now because this episode is officially over. Um, so once again, thank you all very much. Merry, Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy Hanukkah to all my Jewish friends and to all my atheist friends who don't believe in anything. Then just see you later. All right, all right guys. Bye. Um, we'll see you on Christmas. Take care of this motor and went to work.